Welcome to Bed Crime Stories Podcast. I'm your host, T, and if true crime is your jam, and like me, you enjoy delving into unsolved cases, trying to figure out who done it, please consider subscribing. Also, if you have a chance, please hit that like button. Good day, my true crime friends. Hope you're having a lovely Sunday. Today, I want to talk briefly about Summer Wells' grandmother, Candy Har, or Grandis, as we all call her. Emma, the host of Crime Stories Obsessed, posted a very interesting video today in which she discussed Summer Wells' grandmother, Candy Har, and her relationship with her grandchildren in Wisconsin. Listen to what Emma says about Har. Among the grandchildren in Wisconsin that Grandis allegedly would not be able to see if what Emma is saying is legitimate and true are, I would imagine, Candace's first two children who are Andrew Jr. and Candace. Candace named her first daughter Candace. Candace's missing sister Rosemary Bly's two daughters might also be included in this, as well as Candace's other sister, 36-year-old Jeannie Bly's kids, if she has any. I haven't been able to find out if she does. I'm also unsure if Candy Har had more children with her husband, Kenneth Bly. Kenneth Bly's obituary lists two other children in addition to Candace, Jeannie, and Rosemary. They are Kathleen and Kenneth. I'm not sure if those are also Candy Harr's children. If you know, please let me know in the comments. What we don't know is why Grandis is not allowed, allegedly, to see any of her grandchildren aside from Candace and Don's kids. And if she cannot see her grandchildren in Wisconsin, why was she allowed to spend time with Candace and Don's four children? Now, Har does have a brother, Warren Har, who is a convicted SO. In 1994, Har pleaded no contest to eight counts of essaying a child. Note that he was later found guilty but not guilty and that is the exact wording, guilty but not guilty, of those eight counts due to mental illness slash defect. But I don't think Grandis would be prevented from seeing her grandchildren in Wisconsin because of any illegal acts her brother Warren may have committed. So what did Grandis do that caused her to allegedly be kept from having contact with her grandchildren in Wisconsin? Is it because of the rumor that she one time went into a store where Candace's daughter, Candace Jean, I believe is her name, was working and harassed her? Could that be why? Or is it something more nefarious? Now, listen to what H told Chris McDonough of the interview room about Grandis's behavior on June 15, 2021, the day five-year-old Summer went missing. Note that just prior to H stating this, Chris asked him what he thinks happened to Summer. This is what H says. What do you think happened to Summer? To be honest with you, her grandma was out of her mind. Like, you guys, damn. Did you hear that? H stated this, to be honest with you, her grandmother was out of her mind. Unfortunately, H's explanation 
as to why he said that Grandis was out of her mind that day doesn't shed much light on what that statement really means. H answers by saying that she, Grandis, is usually grumpy and controlling like a regular grandma. H's response seems like a filler answer, a fluff answer, like it really doesn't answer the question in a meaningful manner. It leaves us wondering what Grandis being out of her mind that day looked like. What did she do? What did she say? How did she act? What prompted Grandis to be out of her mind on June 15th of 2021? For months, H's statement about Grandis has been nagging at me. H, what did Grandis do on the day Summer disappeared to make you say that she was out of her mind? I don't believe that out of her mind can be compared to being grumpy or controlling. We need to know you can't just drop a verbal bomb like that and leave us hanging. Until the next time on Bed Crime Stories. Now please do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Share my content. Get the word out and leave me a comment.